Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at is how to apply a simple fog inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you found this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it really helps me out and helps me know that I'm going in the right direction. So here we go. What we're going to do is go up to this cube with a square, and we're going to type in fog. And we're going to try to select the exponential height fog. Um, ignore that I've got an atmospheric fog that comes by default with Unreal. We're just going to be looking at how to apply a fog to a scene. So we click on our exponential height fog. And I've just set up a very basic scene here just so that we can see uh, what's happening as we're doing things. Now the two sections I like to look at is this section and uh, this section, uh, just for, for the, the sort of simple simple things that we're going to do for this. Obviously you can do incredibly advanced things when you start actually moving into other areas within this, but they're the two areas that I generally start with. So what we've got here is that if you're doing sort of, in, in my opinion, low performance hardware type games um, you know you're not looking at say the latest titan cards and things like that we generally stick to this fog as hardware gets better we'll be using more and more volumetric fogs within um, games and things like that a lot of like red dead uses volumetric fog which really brings it sort of it gives it another level of realism and depth within a scene but i'll show you both of them and um, because if you're just doing like say renders and things like that volumetric fog can be very helpful for you so what we do is um, this is our density. So this is how thick the fog is. So we see here, as soon as I apply that, um, we've got a, you know, a thicker fog. Um, so I'll just put that back down to 0.5. Um, we'll come back to this in a minute. Um, what then I do is look at the scattering color. So this is essentially, I see it as the fog color. So you can see that straight away. We can make a blue, we can make whatever. Um, so we'll just set that to a, a white color. Um, the opacity um, is how intense, well, I guess opaque the fog is. And um, uh, so you can see there as I'm adjusting that, what it does. And start distance and fall off. What I'll do with that is I'll just put the fog up to something ridiculous so you can really see. So we've got a very thick sort of Silent Hill type fog here. Um, so what we can do is this is the start distance away from the camera. So you can see here that in some scenes you might not want it to be like right up to the camera lens you know I, I believe they did do that in a lot of old games it's like the fog of war and things like that and the cutoff distance is how far in the distance is the fog applied so as i drag that you can see i think it's, it's very sensitive this so if i just put it a thousand you can see that's as far as the fog goes but as i move the camera it's uh, encompassing, encompassing the rest of the stuff in the fog um generally this can be useful because you know if we say apply that to ten thousand. Um, you know, we might not necessarily want everything in the background in, in fog. We only want what we're currently in, if that makes sense. You know, there's no point in, in you know, in, in some instances of having the whole scene covered in fog when you can't see the whole scene, you know. Um, and then the uh, fallout, uh, is, uh, the height falloff is, uh, it says there that it uh, increases as height decreases. So when we adjust this, I'm not sure if you're going to get much of a, uh, a, a sort of, look with this there's slight changes with it and depending on your scene um this is something that you generally i leave it at its default and then if if you know i need to adjust something then i'll start looking at things like that in deeper context so what we're now going to look at is the volumetric which you'll see a big difference when you do this so we will tick the volumetric to turn it on and then you'll see here that the, the, the whole sort of fog scene changes. What we'll do is we'll move this down to 0.5, and so it's not so aggressive. And we're just gonna make sure, just put that back to zero, everything's back as it was. Right, so what we've got here is our scatter dis distribution. That's, um, you could see it's bringing more fog in and it, it's adding more, essentially, uh, how, I, how I see it is it adds more depth to the scene. Um, if we, we start playing with this, we'll, we'll come back to this. Uh, extension scale is, um, as you say, there's, as I'm pulling the, the uh, it's, it's this, uh, I see it as essentially as it's a bit like the start distance in a way. Um, uh, so as you see, as, as I increase the value, it's getting close to the camera and creating a more dense fog. fog. And a few distances, uh, again, a bit like the, um, for cutoff distance. So what we've got here is as we bring it in, you can see there, so it's adjusting the, the, the scene, you know, um, uh, yeah. Uh, the light scattering, this is, if you've, you can see here that it's reacting with the, the directional light in the scene. When we move that, it's adding more, um, I guess, light scatter in a way. It's making it more, uh, 
uh, brighter, uh, you know, as, as if it was reacting fog. A bit like, say, if you're driving down like a road in the fog and you put your headlights on, um, it can scatter the, the light out across a lot more and make it either harder or, or easier to see, depending on what kind of you know lighting type you're using, fog lights or, or side lights, things like that. Um, so these see here where we would go back now i've increased the extinction scale we can now see what this this scatter distribution is doing and really this is for you to sort of have a look at and and you know adjust to what you like you know things like that but you can get some incredibly good things just by um with volumetrics volumetrics are my favorite um to use um inside of unreal but uh, as i say it's it's cost intensive currently but it will be getting more you know as, as hardware gets cheaper and, and better um a lot of these things will be applied, like ray tracing and, and all of that. Uh, so yeah, that's really the basics of um, the basics of uh, how to create a simple fog. Obviously, with all of these things, I'm just trying to do tutorials that get you started, and, and without being like crazy long, you know, hour long tutorials. Um, so there's, there's, again, I like to play with these or adjust these not play with them but adjust these two uh, panels here and um, when you get into things like this you can sort of bring loads of things alive within a side scene but I think what you should do is initially get the hang of these two sections and obviously be aware that volumetric fogs costs um, so yeah hopefully this has helped and cheers <laughs>